You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrance for Black and White Sports. Damn, Antonio Brown's starting to be like the mafia. Just when you think we have gotten away from Antonio Brown, he pulls you back in. And his war with Bruce Arians is not over. It's not over. And he flat named a team that he is interested in playing for. It's a team that Matrix and myself have talked about that we feel like would take a run at Antonio Brown. It just so happens they they are going to cut a star-wide receiver here very shortly. And the fact is... The wide receiver they're cutting versus what Antonio Brown would cost be a massive, massive pay difference. And still be able, provided he gets over this alleged injury he has, would still be a solid addition for a guy that will come into your locker room and promptly blow it up. Let's get to this because he's saying there was a feud with Bruce Arians dating back to him being in Pittsburgh. Bruce Arians thought he was a dumb shit, it seems like. Well, the January explosion between Bruce, uh, between the Buccaneers coach Bruce Arians and Buccaneers receiver Antonio Brown wasn't the first time the coach and player had an issue between them. This is PFT and, I assume, Florio. As explained by Brown during the appearance on the Pivot Podcast with Ryan Clark, Channing Crowder, and Fred Taylor, the issues first arose when both men were in Pittsburgh. Clark and I know how Arians used to treat me, Brown said. You and I know that Bruce Arians said that A.B. isn't smart enough to play the X position. Are we talking about ourselves in the third person now? Holy crap. All right. You know that I... You and I know Ben Roethlisberger had to say enough is enough and tell Bruce Arians that we have to play this guy. The public doesn't know that. Okay, so Bruce Arians, you did not realize that Antonio Brown, a guy with that talent, should not ride the bench? Look, for all the problems that Antonio Brown's got, the dude can flat play when he's actually on the field. The public now does, and it makes it easier to understand why Arians originally didn't want Brown in Tampa. That's a fact. Eventually, Arians relented because, obviously, Tom Brady wanted Brown. And then Arians basically fired Brown during a game as Brown tells it. Quote, Bruce Arians has to respect me as a player. Brown said to Clark, I'm in the middle of a game. How are you going to tell me to get the F out of there? You know how it is in a game with testosterone. How are you going to act on game day? You probably would have slapped him. If I can't play, I can't play. It's a deltoid ligament. Wait a minute. I thought, is a deltoid ligament in the, in the ankle? I thought he had a, nah, forget it. I have to have surgery in the next couple of weeks. I know. I make football look easy, and I know I could run 17 or 18 miles per hour, which is not normal with a hurt ankle, but I can't do that over the course of a year. I'd kill myself. I don't have no mental problem, okay? I'm just about respect. I stand on principle. You've got to be, you've got to be joking. Brown, here we go. Brown also suggested that he possibly will sign with the Dallas Cowboys for 2022. (laughs) Uh, We called it. Few will be ready to buy that one before Brown can do anything. He needs his ankle repaired. So Antonio Brown just flat come out and said, I'm going to sign with the, the Cowboys in 2022. Does Jerry Jones know this? Stephen Jones, do you know you're signing Antonio Brown? Maybe they do. Maybe they've known it for a while. I'm just saying, remember, I called it. We talked about it. I said the Cowboys, Jerry Jones got a history with diva wide receivers. 
it made a lot of sense that connection i actually thought they would do it uh, maybe there wasn't enough time running into the playoffs uh deltoid ligament isn't that in your shoulder is there i don't know i look i'm i i i don't have a chart so i'm not going to worry about that uh he claims still that there was an ankle injury he claims he's about to get ankle surgery uh, this just goes to tell, show you right here, though, something I have said over and over again. Bruce Arians and Antonio Brown hate each other. They hate each other. You know who Tom Brady likes? Antonio Brown. A lot of friction with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I hate to keep going here, but if you look at all the look at all the writing on the wall, Tom Brady retired. From the Buccaneers. All right. I don't know if he'll be back or not. It depends on what team he can get to. Anyway, the point is, Antonio Brown, Bruce Arians couldn't stand each other. Ben Roethlisberger is the one that had to get Bruce Arians to play Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown absolutely destroyed everybody on the field in Pittsburgh. I mean, how many yards... Does Big Ben have that he owes to Antonio Brown? And look, as on a personal level, like as a as a person, character, I am not an Antonio Brown fan, but I'm not dumb. That dude can ball when he's on the field, and he's pretty healthy. I don't know. Everybody, including myself, thought he was automatically out of the NFL after this year. But now that so much has come up and the fact that Tom Brady... It got out that Tom Brady wasn't vibing with Arians. That in itself may get Antonio Brown signed by somebody else. Oh, so Arians got an attitude problem. Gotcha. I don't know. This is the the story that just keeps evolving more and more and more over time. Antonio Brown, a Dallas Cowboy. Interesting. I don't know that it'll happen. But I'm here for it if it does. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.